this is the makeup Mia's wearing in a previous video but this time I'm caking it up so we're doing it really thick with Inglots HD perfect cover up foundation in shade 74 I toned down the light a bit so you better see the skin texture this foundation is really dry you'll see the main idea is that before on a natural look I did a very dewy foundation everything nice you know radiant but now we want it really dry so I'll be actually able to re-sculpt the face with contouring Hola, does it, am I recording? Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Hola, chicolinas, chicolinas! Last year I named you Chica Bellas, but this year is Chocolina. So, Chocolinas, hola, hola. For all of you who don't know what we're doing in makeup tutorials, last time I did natural makeup on Mia, but this time we're caking it up shitloads and I'm applying so much makeup that she'll be able to go party again go to sleep wherever she likes and wake up just perfecto we oui. anyway we will be applying close it this cocoa blend selected with love stealers what's it called oh my warm notes warm notes eyeshadow because this is slightly purplish and her hazel eyes will start glowing. They'll just pop out. Look, so I'll go here on the brow bone. She has deep set eyes actually, deep set hooded eyes on her brow bone and then extend it out, out with my MAC 217 brush because I'm making cat size now. Pow, 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 pow. On the start, I want the eye as bright as possible and this is bitter start imagine this funny name for the color bitter start by Stila. white here in the start same white also on the lower part of the eye that we make them as almond shaped as possible to make this eye really 3d i'm using sweeter and same Stila palette this is wonderful look just on the middle because it will bounce light this is quite a shimmery color quite a shimmery silver color do you see how hooded the eye is look where the crease breaks it goes down so i can't flick an eyeliner here i just no matter what i do i can't go with an eyeliner out but i'm using inglot's gel eyeliner close it i can do a flick here that i'll blend later so I just push it in the eyelashes, totally in the eyelashes, and then I blend the outer corner. I go here because this triangle will pull an eye up. Not all of you can do this. If you have a really hooded eye open, if this crease already goes over the eyelid, you can't do this. And then look up, 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 and you put it on a lower part. Look here, and we'll blend all this. So it will look more natural and then with the same gel eyeliner I can go in a waterline as well because this will just stick in look now this won't move Now I take a more precise brush and blend this I blend it on a lower lower part I mean the inner part so I just blend it down and also here look up I blend it down I bl just blend the line that it nicely melts with an eye so it will get a gradient look up now here I pull it out, I make a bit of a flick because now I went over the crease so I can make a flick because everything's blended, it's blurry, you don't see where's the crease, where's the color. And on the lower part I blend it, blend it in nicely. You see this looks awesome on a distance. Look how an eye looks almond shaped now because I edited it a bit on the lower part and then went up and blended it here so it just lifts it it goes up comparing to this eye which is actually downturned you see in order for this eye to look more made up look up i'm using inglot's cold pencil in five this is a beige pencil on the start look just up to where i have this black curve i know we said this a million times but go in the description below and subscribe to my newsletter 
because you have the chance to win an online makeup consultation with me where I'll help you with your makeup and whatever you struggle with. Put your name down and I'll announce the winner once per month, each first Sunday in a month. I want the eyebrows to be thick, but still not too crazy. So I'm using a number four pencil by Yves Saint Laurent, which is actually lighter than her eyebrows, which means that here I can go over her natural line make them really thick and also here but it won't show it won't be like a crazy straight drag queen line you know do you know what guys it's really hard for the models to sit here for ages and i think me i fell asleep <laughs> you wait <laughs> i make up gradient by combing them in the start and the only thing i don't like about this yves saint laurent's pencil is that it's it's shimmery it has too many sparkles in it so if you use it too much, you get a really bad result. Otherwise, it's awesome. It's a really good pencil, but this is a downside to it. Touche clan number one, paint the face. Paint the face everywhere where it should be, because this will bounce light. This will be a highlighter under the eyes. Also here, bow, bow, bow. and on the cheekbone, this part. I bought this stuff ages ago, it's Urban Decay's Naked Illuminator because I never use highlighters, look how shimmery this is and I won't drag it because it would just stick in creases so I'll just tap it on here on this part here, look, this is the part that is most in the face, right? so I'll put it here, I'll stick it here and slightly on this cheekbone. I don't go on the cheekbone, but on this part that is just sticking out slightly. So you see how I'm applying it. Da, 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 da. And to be honest, I think this highlighter has too much shimmer in it. It's thick shimmer. It should be more, you know, like silky light. This is just, it will bounce light. You see how it will bounce light on the camera. Oh my god guys, I forget to record so many times and then Mia needs to remind me. I'm using a 377 Perfect Red L'Oreal Paris Lip Pencil. Because, tell me what you think, you know? I need to go out of my frame from time to time, so I'll do dark eyes with really red bright lips. And I really wonder what you guys think, because, you know, each eyes have their own painter. Put it in the description below. I'm using also a matte pencil because this edge here, which is really harsh, really edgy pointed, won't bounce light. You see how it bounces light now? So if, because I, I went over here with a matte pencil, it doesn't bounce light anymore. So basically, I can re-sculpt the lips. Creolans lip gloss, really, really red lip gloss matte in uh, red it's a shade called no hello <laughs> it's a shade called rock 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 and roll this is what i used for halloween to do that um madonna's makeup look how lucky me i is she has a natural dot so i'll just emphasize it with my kevin o'quan's contouring powder put it a bit more here and it's greyish, ta-da, it shows enough. And we can totally contour this face because it's a night out makeup, sexy time, pow, pow, pow. But I'll show you in another video. That was mean, but the video will be out in three days anyway. So check it out, stick on my channel. If you're new, subscribe in the link below or wherever because we should hang out far more, you know. I teach about this natural more makeup, so hello. And for all of you who are my fans for years, go check my Instagram, go check my Facebook. I don't see you on other social media that much. Send me your photos if you want me to help you out or whatever, just send me love and I'll send you love back. CCC. Take care and uh, I'll see you soon, ciao.